In this video, I will build a jib boom for the sea rig. Some of the dimensions will be different on the other rigs, but the process used will be the same. First select the short tube from the jib kit and insert it into the tube joiner to check that it goes all the way in. I like to put tape where the tube exits the joiner to prevent getting glue on the exposed part. Remove the tube, clean the end and then put a small amount of super glue on the tube end before inserting it into the tube joiner. Take the tube as you do this to spread the glue and that will form a strong bond. Next we take the long tube and glue that into the tube joiner. Check you have the correct tube. Mask and clean the tube end. Glue the end and hold in place until it has bonded. Next, we will fit the chrome tube end band. the jib tack fitting into the end of the short tube. This does not need gluing, but it must line up so the tab with the hole in is in line with the profile of the tube joiner. we can install the tube end fitting, but this needs a length of Dyneema fitting first. To do this, cut a 250mm length of Dyneema. Use 
use a sharp blade for a neat cut. You can use a dab of superglue on the Dyneema where you've made the cut, and this will prevent the Dyneema from fraying. Frayed ends are difficult to thread through bowses and eyelets, etc. Insert the Dyneema into the bulbous end and pull enough Dyneema through to be able to tie a knot on the other side. I normally use a figure of eight knot for this. Put a small amount of superglue on the tube end fitting and make sure that it doesn't overspill onto the Dyneema when you insert it. Some people install this without gluing it, but I have seen them pop out before. Now fit the jib boom adjustables. The following items go on the boom but they are not glued. First is the O-ring. Then a boom band. Here I'm putting white tape where the first boom band should be positioned. This dimension and the dimensions for the other rigs are shown at the end of the video. Next is a sheet lead. Another boom band. clue hook. And finally, one more boom band. thing to do to finish the jib boom assembly and that is to fit the counterweight. So put a dab of super glue onto the thread of the balance bar and screw the weight onto it. Insert the counterweight into the end of the boom end fitting and leave it so there's about 5mm of balance bar showing. 
There's no need to glue this as it will need to be removed later. These are all the dimensions for all the rigs, for the boom pans and O-rings, etc. Well, I hope that's been useful for somebody. Thanks for watching, and apparently you should be clicking an up thumb button or something. I don't know. Anyway, see you next time.